Hi guys, this is Khan and you are watching Educative channel and today we are going to discuss operators in C++ and these are 7 type of operators but first let's start with the statement terminator there are some signs and symbols we use also in C++ so first of all statement terminator what is statement terminator? every statement in C++ must be terminated with semicolon Basically, the semicolon is also called the statement terminator. Okay, and it occurs at the end of each statement. Next to them is escape sequence. What is escape sequence? The escape sequence are special non-printing characters. Let's see what are non-printing characters like a alert or alarm. There is a beep sound when you print this character. We'll see an example and slash b for backspace slash t for tab and slash n for new line or line feet slash r for carriage return and to print these for example if you want to print a slash you need to put two slashes together and if you want single quote marks then you need to do like this and for double quotation like this just uh, one example so that you will understand how to use escape sequence in your code we'll start with um, slash t and slash n okay these two examples so that you will have some idea that how can you use it the simple example is here c out then operator and then slash t or slash n i will print it and then you'll see for example i'm going to start now hash include iOS frame and then using namespace std and then integer main okay and then um, the traditional term hello world or rather I will write hello Khan okay and then just a semicolon okay and how are you another line how are you let's see the output okay save it and then compile and one you can use f11 to compile and run together so as you can see in the output hello khan how are you both are together in one line if you want to print on the second line so you will use slash n here slash n and you can use it here as well so that it will be on second line okay now run it again and you will see both are on separate line hello khan new line and how are you on new line you can use slash t as well i will use with the hello khan only so that you will see the difference what is the difference between slash t and without slash t compile and an f11 okay see this is the difference of tab slash t means tab so this is just simple example to understand what are the escape sequences and uh, you can practice with these and if you have any question you can ask me uh, in the comment section okay next we are going to start with the operators that is our main topic today so in c++ we can categorize our operators in seven categories uh, thematic operators increment operators decrement operators relational operators, logical operator, assignment operator and arithmetic assignment operator. So let's start with arithmetic operator first and we'll make a program of the arithmetic operator. Okay. So start with arithmetic operator. Uh, we don't need these but uh, I can copy paste here. So I'm just commenting it. Okay. Two lines so you can comment it out. Okay. These are the instructions the compiler will ignore but we can see them in the code okay and in second part you can see the link in the description we have discussed the comment single line comment and multi line comments in details okay for the new people you can see this is single line comment and here this is multi line comment okay it starts with slash static and ends with static slash and single line comment starts with double slash we need two variables integer num1 and num2 
what we are going to do now we are going to take two inputs I will use here enter enter first number okay first number and uh, I will take the input here CN and num1 okay the same I will copy here num2 and enter second number okay so it what it will do it will print this and then whatever the user will input will get the input here again this is explained in second video but I am repeating again okay and so we can print out the values of num1 here like this so that you will have some idea num1 and uh, uh, we need slash n uh, I'm going to use it twice so that there will be gap of two lines and then here only one okay this is num2 so whatever will input it will come here let's run it and uh, I will enter here number first number 10 and second number 5 so you can see num1 is 10 and num2 is 5 now we are going to perform some operations on these and let's start with addition okay because these are arithmetic operator arithmetic operator means here plus minus multiply static will use for multiply and slash for divide and another one it's a slightly different one is percentage sign but it is used for reminder reminder means whatever after the division is left it will show this value okay we'll see in the example so first of all we are going to see the addition num1 plus num2 simple example we are going to do the same for the others after addition we'll do subtraction subtraction I just want to make it clear here num1 minus num2 oh sorry I put it plus as well and then we need two more so rather one more as well so after subtraction then multiplication I'm just copy pasting the same lines so that it will be easy I won't have to write again and again you can check it here Okay, multiplication after multiplication you can see um, division and remainder. Okay. Uh, now I will put let me finish with the headings and then now I will put the symbols here. this is plus addition subtraction multiplication will use static division will use slash and remainder will use percent sign okay so let's run the program enter two variables value and let's see what is the output compiler man f11 no errors first value I'll, I'm going to put 10 second value would be 5 so these are the result 10 plus 5 is 15 10 minus 5 is 5, 10 multiplied by 5 is 50, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. And there won't be any remainder, so 0 is a remainder. Just another example if we put it here 11 and divide by 5, so we'll see the result here 1 and here 2. Because 5 to the 10, so in division we'll get 2, and remainder only 1 would be here. Okay? hope it's clear if uh, is there anything then uh, let me know okay next we have got increment and decrement operator I'm going to put them together and uh, here and comment out both of them and explain together uh, we don't need these two variable input I will put some numbers so that it will be easy okay and these two variables okay <coughs> Uh, like num1 is equal to 5 and num2 is equal to 10 okay so increment operator is something like num1 plus plus this is the same plus plus we use with c plus plus c plus plus means one level more than c okay it's the same like num1 is equal to num1 plus 
ठीक है सो बोथ आर सेम बट दैट इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म टू वाइट इट इंक्रीमेंट वी कैन वाइट लाइक दिस और वी कैन इवन वाइट लाइक दिस प्लस प्लस नम वन ठीक है दिस इज कॉल्ड द पोस्ट सॉरी दिस वन इज पोस्ट एंड दिस वन इज प्री ठीक है प्री इंक्रीमेंट और पोस्ट इंक्रीमेंट will see um, i don't feel any difference in programming while using this one or that one so we'll discuss some other time okay because i don't want to make the video very long okay so num2 minus minus this is the example of decrement operator and it works like this num2 is equal to num2 plus sorry minus 1 okay so this is the same as this one so whatever the value would be there in num2 it will be deducted by 1 okay so in this example num1 is 5 so when we print after this statement so num1 will be 6 and num2 is 10 after this one num2 would be 9 so let's see if it is correct see out and then new line and uh, num1 and then i'll print num1 here so oh, this one num1 and then same with num2 okay now i run the program and let's see the result <coughs> see num1 we initialize with 5 and then we put num1 plus plus so it becomes 6 and num2 we initialize with 10 and when we uh, apply on minus minus decrement operator it becomes 9 i hope this will be clear so we have covered 1 2 3 arithmetic operator increment operator and decrement operator now we are going to work at relational operator let's see the example uh, we don't need these variables as well i'm going to comment them out It's not deleting all the things but uh, commenting them so that uh, you can see as well or if you want this code that you can ask me i will uh, uh, or i will try to Uh, put it in description or in comments just let me know if you want it now the next one is relational operator what are the relational operators let's see what are the relational operators in the book you can download this book as well and the link is in description so come to the book here and uh, we have done this one so let's see the relational operators relational operator basically what are these they are used to test the relation between two values and these are the relations like equal to so we can say a is equal to b just keep in mind in c c++ java uh, we use equal like this when we are using it as relation operator and uh, when we use one only it becomes assignment operator i will discuss after a while okay in the end of this video okay so what is relation operator it will tell you that is it right or not means it is true or false or it is one or zero all are same one means yes true okay or on and false means zero no okay so that is the condition here so it will what these relation operator do these return if a and b is equal then it will return one otherwise it will return zero and the opposite to this one is a is not equal to b and the same thing uh, same result here zero or one then greater than that that's the sign for greater than a is greater than b if a is greater than b then it will return a one if not then it will return zero then again less than same thing but the opposite greater than or equal to difference between these two and these two is that it will check for the is equal to as well means is the value equal to or not in this condition if both are same it won't be true but here if both are same it will be true in these two conditions let's see the example a relation operator i am going to make again num1 is equal to for example 5 and num2 is equal to 10 okay the same values are put it there so i'm going to print it here uh for example if i want to check num1 is uh, equal to num2 okay so the same statement i'm going to print here the result of this one like this num1 we should uh, use a bracket here num1 
equals to num2 so, and just slash and in the beginning of the line okay so this is equals to it is going to check if both the values are equal or not and you know very well that they are not okay so the result would be something like uh, it would be zero here and if we change it here like this not equals to not equals to means if both are not same values so it will be one let's see what is it going to do now okay num1 sorry i didn't declare the variables on top so i'm going to do it now in these are num1 and num2 now one again <clears throat> so now you can see num1 is not equal to basically so what is showing num1 is equal to num2 it is false and num1 is not equal to 2 is true so if you see the values you will understand okay these are the matching statements num1 and num2 are not equal and num1 and num2 uh, are different something like this okay so we are going to use the other operator as well in this one so let's see uh, here num1 and num2 so less than and greater than let's see what are the results here you can check your own result as well if you see num1 is less than or num2 so see num1 is less than yes true so it will be one here and num2 or num1 is greater than num2 obviously it is not so it will be one so let's see the results here again run the program so we have got 0 1 and 1 and 0 again the same result we anticipated here as you can see because the values are values of num1 is uh, less than num2 not greater than num2 okay so the next two operators let's see here num c equals 1 so for this one what i'm going to do i am going to do the same is i'm going to make both the values same 5 and 5 so it will be true now it will be false it will be false it will be false okay so let me do it again one and then zero then less than is equal to no zero and then these both will be one because they are checking for is equal to as well okay so let me put the these here okay so let's run it so we'll see that did we get the same result here and as you can see only the first one both are equal and the last two both are equal or less right? so that is the difference between these two and these two hope uh, it is clear if uh, there is anything then let me know in the comment i will explain it to you okay then comes the logic operator let me comment it out but i'm not going to comment this uh, declaration here so so that i don't have to do it again uh, and the next one is a logical operator we have three logical operator and just keep in mind these logical op operators are very important and we use in boolean algebra as well so these are basically and or not and the symbol for and is double ampersand for or we use pipe two pipes that's um, mostly it is found on the um, button down the back space you can check it and with the help of shift you can print it out not for not we use exclamation mark sign okay so the same here uh, we have got this uh, uh, okay three statements we need so we'll copy it here and um, num5 and 5 okay we can see or we need another number so num3 okay. uh, for example i want to check 5 15 and 25 okay now the same i'm just going to copy it here see out so that i have i don't have to write it again and again i want to check here 
so I need two brackets I'm just printing it here so you can see or rather I should start like this num1 is less than num2 and I want to check num2 is less than num3 so that is my situation here condition I'm putting it here the first condition is num1 is less than num2 and m% twice the next condition is num1 num2 is less than num3 okay so basically what we are going to check here it will check if num1 is less than num2 and if says 1 then it will go and check it here if it says 1 as well means if both the conditions are true then the answer will be 1 in case if any one condition is false or both are false it will return 0 so we can check here num1 is less than num2 okay it is true and num2 is less than num3 so both are true so it will be 1 let's check the answer okay num3 i haven't declared here num3 or should uh, i repeated it yes okay so let's run again Okay. Compile again and run. So num1 is less than and num2. So the answer is 1. 1 means true or on. Okay. Or yes. All are same. So we can put it here. Just to check another one. Should I write over here? So that you will have some idea. And I am going to change the symbols here two pipes and obviously what is going to check either of these this one or this one any one of these true it will return one so obviously both are true so it will return one and the third condition here is num1 is not mm, I think equal to I am going to put it equal to here so it will be easy to understand so only one condition here num1 is not equal to or we can reverse whatever the result here so for example i'm going to num1 is less than num2 and i can reverse it here like this so it will be opposite to the answer okay let's run it and check the answer the first one we'll see num1 and num2 according to this one we can see both the conditions both the conditions are true so it was giving us one here both are true in uh, in condition of only one value we can say that uh, it will be one but here num1 is less than num2 okay num1 is less than num2 okay so that is but it is reversing the answer reverse this one is inverted in boolean algebra we call it inverter so what it does that it will it will return the opposite answer if it is one in this condition num1 is less than num2 it is yes true or one but it re, it is returning or it is converting into the opposite means it will become zero so as you can see the result here so these are the uh, let me give you another example of this one i'm going to slightly change the values here just this one so that one of these conditions this condition will be false so let's see what happens this condition will be false because num1 now is not less than num2 so it will be zero or uh, in this one we need to see that if one of these conditions are true so this one is still true here okay so it will return as one and let's see what happens here okay num1 is less than num2 uh, basically num1 is not less than num2 so basically it gives us 0 and this not will change the answer it becomes 1 so let's run it again and see the result so we'll see that 0 1 and 1 okay the same we expected and as I have explained the answer as well. okay uh, be quick to the next topic uh, logic operator and keep in mind we use them in boolean algebra as well so you must be very clear and in in case if you want to know anything about these uh, uh, operators you can uh, write in the comments so next one is assignment operator basically uh, the purpose of this one 
is uh, to make it different from equal to operator mostly what sometimes the newcomers they do they treat this one like this one and both are different this one is assignment operator we'll see that what is assignment operator and this one is equal to operator so start with the num1 now i can use num1 equals to 5 what it will do this is assignment operator so it will assign value 5 to num1 okay the same we can do with num2 okay num2 and we can do like this as well num2 is equal to num1 so what happens here the value of num2 is assigned to num2 num1 is assigned to num2 so basically this one the single equals to mark is uh, used for assignment operator is assignment operator but if you check it here this is something like um, um, num1 and num2 are equal I'm going to check it and I want result in boolean so I will put it here like this num1 equals to num2 so basically what is going to do here it, is, it will check the result of num1 and num2 if they are equal so it will print 1 otherwise it will print 0 so basically this is not going to change the value of any variable rather it will check the value of both the variables because it is relational operator so it will check the relation between both if they are equal less or greater and this one assignment operator will change the value of the variable like this one so num1 is 5 now and num2 is the value of num1 okay and we can check here equal to with this example let's run it and you will see that num1 equals to num2 okay so this one you can see you will see the result here one okay so basically what is it returns it will return the boolean value boolean value means true false or zero one so this is the equal to operator as compared to assignment operator how it is clear and the last one arithmetic assignment operator if you are still following so don't worry don't uh, forget to like and subscribe the channel uh, hopefully if you are <laughs> so but I'm going to complete the topic so be here with me for just one or two minutes more. arithmetic assignment operator basically that is a combination of something like or arithmetic operator means we have got plus minus multiply and divide uh, for the beginners that's enough and we uh, add another operation with these is something like is equal to okay so it becomes arithmetic assignment operator so let's see the example uh, I think I can use this one here as well for number 7 num1 and num2 okay so we have got num1 and num2 in num1 we put 5 and uh, now what we are going to do here num1 uh, plus is equal to uh, 4 so let's see what is the value of num1 okay okay uh, here uh, value of num1 we only need num1 so according to our calculation it should be num1 is 5 here and num1 plus is equal to is equivalent to num1 is equal to num1 plus 4 okay so this statement is same as this one okay so that is the short form of uh, arithmetic assignment operator okay so let's see here it should be then 5 plus 4 it should be 9 let's run the program and see the result here as you can see the value of num1 is 9 how you can see that 5 and then we put 4 in this 5 okay just to have an example of uh, the other operators as well we can print out we only need one variable so we can do the same thing here 
ओके नम वन माइनस इज इक्वल टू फोर मीन्स वॉट एवर द वैल्यू इज देयर इन नम वन दैन वी विल माइनस इट एंड विल सी द रिजल्ट जस्ट कीप इन माइंड इट वॉज नाइन हेयर एंड वी माइनस इट हेयर दो सो इट विल बिकम फाइव अगेन and what we are going to do we are copying it here multiply by or is equal to so it means the same statement as multiply so 4 multiply by 5 is equal to 20 and the divide okay so we have got this one and it means num 1 divided by 4 so what will happen num 1 is 20 here so 20 divided by 4 it becomes 5 again okay hope uh, it's clear and if is there, there is anything just try to write the code run it and uh, try to change the values and then you will have some idea and just keep in mind in the beginning of the video always try to write the code with me so that uh, that is the main practice to understand what we are going to do here okay so let's run it again and uh, see the answers uh first of all we didn't uh, put slash n or uh, i think i should add one more thing we can do the and line thing like this as well in english in c++ and l and l means and of the line so whatever the statement we can do like this and that would be a replacement of slash n okay so that's another way to write it okay so let's run it again so we have got the result here 9 5 20 and 5 as you can see the first value was num1 was 5 and then we put plus 4 plus is equal to 4 so it becomes 9 and then 5 then 20 and then 5 so that is a arithmetic assignment operator so that's uh, for the video if you feel that uh, you need any clarification in anything just let me know and then i will explain it to you Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you in next video. Bye.